Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> Little cold in the shop. I just threw the heat on. So, we're going to see what we need to do for any holidays. And I'm going to show you how to get that nice crisp line around the edge. All right. So, I'm just going to show you how to make a nice crisp line. So, don't waste your time sanding. Don't waste your time sanding up to the edge. So, you want to paint it. Make sure you get all your coats done so you don't have to come back and do anything else. Now, you're going to sand it smooth. So, I'm still on 80 grit sandpaper, and then I'll work my way down to 220. So, I haven't done any of this because why sand this and then resand it? So, we're going to go over this and I'm going to show you how to get a nice smooth edge. nice that came out look at that you see how beautiful that edge is perfect so that's the best thing to do is leave the paint on the edge and, uh, and then sand it all down now you can go through all your grits and this is all ready for a finish. thumbnail <laughs> so this is how it's looking I'll show you an up-close picture see how the lines are nice and then I got the handles which I think I'm gonna do it well, because the handles are expensive, I'm going to see if I can do something with these. See how shiny they are? You really have to uh, sand them down. And I really didn't want to do that, but um, if you do the corners, then you don't have to worry about it chipping off. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just putting them on this cardboard so they're easy to paint. Well, I had holes in here. Apparently all of them did not poke through. If you guys like to learn about furniture repair, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost anything. I know there's a lot of you guys that are watching this that aren't subscribed. So I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. And you can hit the thumbs up if you like it or not. If you don't, you don't. You can leave comments down below if you have any questions. There you go. Makes it easier to paint them. We have a black walnut tree. I don't know if you guys know black walnuts, but they're very big. And it's right at the top of my shop. Um, of course, the squirrels love them. So it sounds like bombs getting dropped on the roof. Actually, a couple of these handles look smaller. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's good to know. Then the top drawers have smaller knobs. I can hear them out there. Having a good time. If you're not going to get back to your paint quickly, all I do is wet a rag, put my brush in it, and I cover the top. Don't leave it if you're going to go and do lunch and all that stuff. You want to cover it up because paint dries up pretty quick. And your paint is worth a lot of money. So, all right. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to finish up for today and uh, go in the house and do some projects. So, um, yeah, we'll wrap it up on the next video. Have a good day, you guys.